Vitamin A is a group of unsaturated nutritional organic compounds that includes retinol, retinol, retinoic acid, and several provitamin A carotenoids, most notably beta carotene. Vitamin A has multiple functions, it is important for growth and development, for the maintenance of the immune system and good vision. Vitamin A is needed by the retina of the eye in the form of retinol, which combines with proteinopsin to form rhodopsin, the light-absorbing molecule necessary for both low-light and color vision. Vitamin A also functions in a very different role as retinoic acid an irreversibly oxidized form of retinol, which is an important hormone-like growth factor for epithelial and other cells. In foods of animal origin, the major form of vitamin A is an ester, primarily retinol palmitate, which is converted to retinol chemically an alcohol in the small intestine. The retinol form functions as a storage form of the vitamin, and can be converted to and from its visually active aldehyde form, retinol. All forms of vitamin A have a beta ionon ring to which an isoprenoid chain is attached, called a retinal group. Both structural features are essential for vitamin activity. The orange pigment of carrots beta -carotene can be represented as two connected retinal groups, which are used in the body to contribute to vitamin A levels. Alpha-carotene and gamma-carotene also have a single retinal group, which give them some vitamin activity. None of the other carotenes have vitamin activity. The carotenoid beta-cryptocanthin possesses an ionone group and has vitamin activity in humans. Vitamin A can be found in two principal forms in foods Retinol, the form of vitamin A absorbed when eating animal food sources, is a yellow, fat-soluble substance. Since the pure alcohol form is unstable, the vitamin is found in tissues in a form of retinol ester. It is also commercially produced and administered as esters such as retinol acetate or palmitate. The carotenes alpha-carotene, beta-carotene, gamma-carotene, and the xanthophyll beta-cryptocanthin all of which contain beta-ionon rings, but no other carotenoids, function as provitamina in herbivores and omnivore animals, which possess the enzyme beta-carotene 15, 15 dioxygenase which cleaves beta-carotene in the intestinal mucosa and converts it to retinol. topic medical use topic <inaudible> deficiency vitamin a deficiency is estimated to affect approximately one third of children under the age of five around the world it is estimated to claim the lives of 670,000 children under five annually Approximately 250,000 to 500,000 children in developing countries become blind each year owing to vitamin A deficiency, with the highest prevalence in Southeast Asia and Africa. Vitamin A deficiency is, "...the leading cause of preventable childhood blindness," according to UNICEF. It also increases the risk of death from common childhood conditions such as diarrhea. UNICEF regards addressing vitamin A deficiency as critical to reducing child mortality. The fourth of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals, vitamin A deficiency can occur as either a primary or a secondary deficiency. A primary vitamin A deficiency occurs among children and adults who do not consume an adequate intake of provitamin A carotenoids from fruits and vegetables or preformed vitamin A from animal and dairy products. Early weaning from breast milk can also increase the risk of vitamin A deficiency. Secondary vitamin A deficiency is associated with chronic malabsorption of lipids, impaired bile production and release, and chronic exposure to oxidants, such as cigarette smoke, and chronic alcoholism. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin and depends on micellar solubilization for dispersion into the small intestine, which results in poor use of vitamin A from low-fat diets. Zinc deficiency can also impair absorption, transport, and metabolism of vitamin A because it is essential for the synthesis of the vitamin A transport proteins and as the cofactor in conversion of retinol to retinol. 
In malnourished populations, common low intakes of vitamin A and zinc increase the severity of vitamin A deficiency and lead physiological signs and symptoms of deficiency. A study in Burkina Faso showed major reduction of malaria morbidity with combined vitamin A and zinc supplementation in young children, due to the unique function of retinal as a visual chromophore. One of the earliest and specific manifestations of vitamin A deficiency is impaired vision, particularly in reduced light, night blindness. Persistent deficiency gives rise to a series of changes, the most devastating of which occur in the eyes. Some other ocular changes are referred to as xerophthalmia. First there is dryness of the conjunctiva as the normal lacrimal and mucus secreting epithelium is replaced by a keratinized epithelium. This is followed by the buildup of keratin debris in small opaque plaques and, eventually, erosion of the roughened corneal surface with softening and destruction of the cornea and leading to total blindness. Other changes include impaired immunity, increased risk of ear infections, urinary tract infections, meningococcal disease, hyperkeratosis, white lumps at hair follicles, keratosis pilaris and squamous metaplasia of the epithelium lining the upper respiratory passages and urinary bladder to a keratinized epithelium. In relation to dentistry, a deficiency in vitamin A may lead to enamel hypoplasia. Adequate supply, but not excess vitamin A, is especially important for pregnant and breastfeeding women for normal fetal development and in breast milk. Deficiencies cannot be compensated by postnatal supplementation. Excess vitamin A, which is most common with high-dose vitamin supplements, can cause birth defects and therefore should not exceed recommended daily values. Vitamin A metabolic inhibition as a result of alcohol consumption during pregnancy is one proposed mechanism for fetal alcohol syndrome and is characterized by teratogenicity resembling maternal vitamin A deficiency or reduced retinoic acid synthesis during embryogenesis. <laughs> vitamin A supplementation A 2012 review found no evidence that beta-carotene or vitamin A supplements increase longevity in healthy people or in people with various diseases. A 2011 review found that vitamin A supplementation of children under 5 who are at risk of deficiency reduced mortality by up to 24%. However, a 2016 and 2017 Cochrane review concluded there was not evidence to recommend blanket vitamin A supplementation for all infants less than a year of age, as it did not reduce infant mortality or morbidity in low- and middle-income countries. The World Health Organization estimated that vitamin A supplementation averted 1.25 million deaths due to vitamin A deficiency in 40 countries since 1998, while strategies include intake of vitamin A through a combination of breastfeeding and dietary intake. Delivery of oral high dose supplements remain the principal strategy for minimizing deficiency. About 75% of the vitamin A required for supplementation activity by developing countries is supplied by the Micronutrient Initiative with support from the Canadian International Development Agency. Food fortification approaches are feasible, but cannot ensure adequate intake levels. Observational studies of pregnant women in sub-Saharan Africa have shown that low serum vitamin A levels are associated with an increased risk of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. Low blood vitamin A levels have been associated with rapid HIV infection and deaths. Reviews on the possible mechanisms of HIV transmission found no relationship between blood vitamin A levels in the mother and infant, with conventional intervention established by treatment with anti-HIV drugs. <laughs> Side effects Since vitamin A is fat-soluble, disposing of any excesses taken in through diet takes much longer than with water-soluble B vitamins and vitamin C. This allows for toxic levels of vitamin A to accumulate. 
These toxicities only occur with preformed retinoid vitamin A such as from liver. The carotenoid forms such as beta carotene as found in carrots give no such symptoms, but excessive dietary intake of beta carotene can lead to carotenodermia, a harmless but cosmetically displeasing orange-yellow discoloration of the skin. In general, acute toxicity occurs at doses of 25,000 U per kilogram of body weight, with chronic toxicity occurring at 4,000 U per kilogram of body weight daily for 6 to 15 months. However, liver toxicities can occur at levels as low as 15,000 U 4,500 micrograms per day to 1.4 million U per day, with an average daily toxic dose of 120,000 U, particularly with excessive consumption of alcohol. In people with renal failure, 4,000 U can cause substantial damage. Signs of toxicity may occur with long-term consumption of vitamin A at doses of 25,000 to 33,000 U per day. Excessive vitamin A consumption can lead to nausea, irritability, anorexia, reduced appetite, vomiting, blurry vision, headaches, hair loss, muscle and abdominal pain and weakness, drowsiness, and altered mental status. In chronic cases, hair loss, dry skin, drying of the mucous membranes, fever, insomnia, fatigue, weight loss, bone fractures, anemia, and diarrhea can all be evident on top of the symptoms associated with less serious toxicity. Some of these symptoms are also common to acne treatment with isotretinoin. Chronically high doses of vitamin A, and also pharmaceutical retinoids such as 13-cis-retinoic acid, can produce the syndrome of pseudotumor cerebri. This syndrome includes headache, blurring of vision and confusion, associated with increased intracerebral pressure. Symptoms begin to resolve when intake of the offending substance is stopped. Chronic intake of 1500 ray of preformed vitamin A may be associated with osteoporosis and hip fractures because it suppresses bone building while simultaneously stimulating bone breakdown, although other reviews have disputed this effect, indicating further evidence is needed. A 2012 systematic review found that beta carotene and higher doses of supplemental vitamin A increased mortality in healthy people and people with various diseases. The findings of the review extend evidence that antioxidants may not have long-term benefits. Equivalencies of retinoids and carotenoids As some carotenoids can be converted into vitamin A, attempts have been made to determine how much of them in the diet is equivalent to a particular amount of retinol, so that comparisons can be made of the benefit of different foods. The situation can be confusing because the accepted equivalences have changed. For many years, a system of equivalencies in which an international unit U was equal to 0.3 micrograms of retinol, 0.6 micrograms of beta-carotene, or 1.2 micrograms of other provitamin or carotenoids was used. Later, a unit called retinol equivalent RE was introduced. Prior to 2001, 1 RE corresponded to 1 microgram retinol, 2 micrograms beta carotene dissolved in oil it is only partly dissolved in most supplement pills, due to very poor solubility in any medium, 6 micrograms beta carotene in normal food because it is not absorbed as well as when in oils, and 12 micrograms of either alpha carotene, gamma carotene, or beta cryptocanthin in food. Newer research has shown that the absorption of provitamin or carotenoids is only half as much as previously thought. As a result, in 2001 the U.S. Institute of Medicine recommended a new unit, the retinol activity equivalent ray. Each μg ray corresponds to 1 microgram retinol, 2 micrograms of beta-carotene in oil, 12 micrograms of dietary beta carotene or 24 micrograms of the three other dietary provitamin or carotenoids because the conversion of retinol from provitamin carotenoids by the human body is actively regulated by the amount of retinol available to the body the conversions apply strictly only for vitamin a deficient humans 
The absorption of provitamins depends greatly on the amount of lipids ingested with the provitamin. Lipids increase the uptake of the provitamin. A sample vegan diet for one day that provides sufficient vitamin A has been published by the Food and Nutrition Board, page 120. Reference values for retinol or its equivalents, provided by the National Academy of Sciences, have decreased. The RDA for men established in 1968 was 5,000 U 1,500 micrograms retinol. In 1974, the RDA was revised to 1,000 RE 1,000 micrograms retinol. As of 2001, the RDA for adult males is 900 RE 900 micrograms or 3,000 U retinol. By ray definitions, this is equivalent to 1,800 micrograms of beta-carotene supplement dissolved in oil 3, U, or 10,800 micrograms of beta-carotene in food 18,000 U. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Dietary recommendations. The U.S. Institute of Medicine IOM updated estimated average requirements ears and recommended dietary allowances RDAs for vitamin A in 2001. For infants up to 12 months there was not sufficient information to establish a RDA, so adequate intake AI shown instead. As for safety the IOM sets tolerable upper intake levels ULs for vitamins and minerals when evidence is sufficient. Collectively the EARS, RDAs, AIs and ULs are referred to as Dietary Reference Intakes The calculation of retinol activity equivalents is each μg ray corresponds to 1 microgram retinol, 2 micrograms of beta-carotene in oil, 12 micrograms of «dietary» beta-carotene, or 24 micrograms of the three other dietary provitamin A carotenoids. ULs are for natural and synthetic retinol ester forms of vitamin A beta carotene and other provitamin A carotenoids from foods and dietary supplements are not added when calculating total vitamin A intake for safety assessments, although they are included as rays for RDA and AI calculations. For U.S. food and dietary supplement labeling purposes, the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value. Percent DV. For vitamin A labeling purposes 100% of the daily value was set at 5000 U, but on May 27, 2016 it was revised to 900 micrograms RE. A table of the pre- and post-adult daily values is provided at reference daily intake. The deadline to be in compliance was set at January 1, 2020 for large companies and January 1, 2021 for small companies. The European Food Safety Authority (EFSA) refers to the collective set of information as dietary reference values with population reference intake pre instead of RDA and average requirement instead of ear. AI and UL defined the same as in United States. For women and men ages 15 and older the pre are set at 650 and 750 micrograms per day, respectively. Pre for pregnancy is 700 micrograms per day, for lactation 1,300 per days. For children ages 1 to 14 years the pre increase with age from 250 to 600 micrograms per day. These pre are similar to the US RDAs. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed the same safety question as the United States and set a UL at 3,000 micrograms per day. Topic: <inaudible> Sources. Vitamin A is found in many foods, including the following list. Bracketed values are retinol activity equivalences and percentage of the adult male RDA, per 100 grams of the foodstuff average. Conversion of carotene to retinol varies from person to person and bioavailability of carotene in food varies. <laughs> Metabolic functions 
Vitamin A plays a role in a variety of functions throughout the body, such as vision, gene transcription, immune function, embryonic development and reproduction, bone metabolism, hematopoiesis, skin and cellular health, teeth, mucous membrane. Topic. Vision The role of vitamin A in the visual cycle is specifically related to the retinal form. Within the eye, 11 cis retinal is bound to the protein opsin to form rhodopsin in rods and iodopsin cones at conserved lysine residues. As light enters the eye, the 11 cis retinal is isomerized to the all trans form. The all trans retinal dissociates from the opsin in a series of steps called photo bleaching. This isomerization induces a nervous signal along the optic nerve to the visual center of the brain. After separating from opsin, the all trans retinal is recycled and converted back to the 11 cis retinal form by a series of enzymatic reactions. In addition, some of the all trans retinal may be converted to all trans retinal form and then transported with an interphotoreceptor retinal binding protein IRBP to the pigment epithelial cells. Further esterification into all trans retinal esters allow for storage of all trans retinal within the pigment epithelial cells to be reused when needed. The final stage is conversion of 11 cis retinal will rebind to opsin to reform rhodopsin visual purple in the retina. Rhodopsin is needed to see in low light contrast as well as for night vision. Kuhn showed that rhodopsin in the retina is only regenerated when the retina is attached to retinal pigmented epithelium, which provides retinal. It is for this reason that a deficiency in vitamin A will inhibit the reformation of rhodopsin and lead to one of the first symptoms, night blindness. <laughs> Gene transcription Vitamin A, in the retinoic acid form, plays an important role in gene transcription. Once retinol has been taken up by a cell, it can be oxidized to retinol retinaldehyde by retinol dehydrogenases and then retinaldehyde can be oxidized to retinoic acid by retinaldehyde dehydrogenases. The conversion of retinaldehyde to retinoic acid is an irreversible step, meaning that the production of retinoic acid is tightly regulated, due to its activity as a ligand for nuclear receptors. The physiological form of retinoic acid, all trans -retinoic acid regulates gene transcription by binding to nuclear receptors known as retinoic acid receptors RARs, which are bound to DNA as heterodimers with retinoid X receptors RXRs. RA and RXR must dimerize before they can bind to the DNA. RA will form a heterodimer with RXR, RA RXR but it does not readily form a homodimer RA RA RXR, on the other hand, may form a homodimer RXR RXR and will form heterodimers with many other nuclear receptors as well, including the thyroid hormone receptor RXRTR, the vitamin D3 receptor RXRVDR, the peroxisome proliferator activated receptor RXRPPAR and the liver. X receptor RXR LXR, the Ra RXR heterodimer recognizes retinoic acid response elements rares on the DNA, whereas the RXR RXR homodimer recognizes retinoid X response elements RXREs on the DNA. Although several rares near target genes have been shown to control physiological processes, this has not been demonstrated for RXREs. 
The heterodimers of RXR with nuclear receptors other than Ra i.e. TR, VDR, PPAR, LXR bind to various distinct response elements on the DNA to control processes not regulated by vitamin A upon binding of retinoic acid to the Ra component of the Ra RXR heterodimer. The receptors undergo a conformational change that causes co-repressors to dissociate from the receptors. Coactivators can then bind to the receptor complex, which may help to loosen the chromatin structure from the histones or may interact with the transcriptional machinery. This response can upregulate or downregulate the expression of target genes, including Hox genes as well as the genes that encode for the receptors themselves, i.e., Ra beta in mammals. Immune function Vitamin A plays a role in many areas of the immune system, particularly in T cell differentiation and proliferation. Vitamin A promotes the proliferation of T cells through an indirect mechanism involving an increase in IL 2. In addition to promoting proliferation, vitamin A, specifically retinoic acid, influences the differentiation of T cells. In the presence of retinoic acid, dendritic cells located in the gut are able to mediate the differentiation of T cells into regulatory T cells. Regulatory T cells are important for prevention of an immune response against self and regulating the strength of the immune response in order to prevent host damage. Together with TGF beta, vitamin A promotes the conversion of T cells to regulatory T cells. Without vitamin A, TGF beta stimulates differentiation into T cells that could create an autoimmune response. Hematopoietic stem cells are important for the production of all blood cells, including immune cells, and are able to replenish these cells throughout the life of an individual. Dormant hematopoietic stem cells are able to self renew and are available to differentiate and produce new blood cells when they are needed. In addition to T cells, vitamin A is important for the correct regulation of hematopoietic stem cell dormancy. When cells are treated with all trans retinoic acid, they are unable to leave the dormant state and become active. However, when vitamin A is removed from the diet, hematopoietic stem cells are no longer able to become dormant and the population of hematopoietic stem cells decreases. This shows an importance in creating a balanced amount of vitamin A within the environment to allow these stem cells to transition between a dormant and activated state, in order to maintain a healthy immune system. Vitamin A has also been shown to be important for T cell homing to the intestine, affects dendritic cells, and can play a role in increased eager secretion, which is important for the immune response in mucosal tissues. Dermatology Vitamin A, and more specifically, retinoic acid, appears to maintain normal skin health by switching on genes and differentiating keratinocytes immature skin cells into mature epidermal cells. Exact mechanisms behind pharmacological retinoid therapy agents in the treatment of dermatological diseases are being researched. For the treatment of acne, the most prescribed retinoid drug is 13-cis-retinoic acid It reduces the size and secretion of the sebaceous glands. Although it is known that 40 mg of isotretinoin will break down to an equivalent of 10 mg of atra, the mechanism of action of the drug original brand name Accutane remains unknown and is a matter of some controversy. Isotretinoin reduces bacterial numbers in both the ducts and skin surface. This is thought to be a result of the reduction in sebum, a nutrient source for the bacteria. Isotretinoin reduces inflammation via inhibition of chemotactic responses of monocytes and neutrophils. Isotretinoin also has been shown to initiate remodeling of the sebaceous glands, triggering changes in gene expression that selectively induce apoptosis. Isotretinoin is a teratogen with a number of potential side effects. Consequently, its use requires medical supervision. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Retinol, retinol versus retinoic acid. Vitamin A deprived rats can be kept in good general health with supplementation of retinoic acid. This reverses the growth stunting effects of vitamin A deficiency, as well as early stages of xerophthalmia. However, such rats show infertility in both male and females and continued degeneration of the retina, showing that these functions require retinal or retinol, which are interconvertible but which cannot be recovered from the oxidized retinoic acid. The requirement of retinol to rescue reproduction in vitamin A deficient rats is now known to be due to a requirement for local synthesis of retinoic acid from retinol in testis and embryos. <laughs> vitamin A and derivatives in medical use Retinol palmitate has been used in skin creams, where it is broken down to retinol and ostensibly metabolized to retinoic acid, which has potent biological activity, as described above. The retinoids for example, 13 -cis -retinoic acid, constitute a class of chemical compounds chemically related to retinoic acid, and are used in medicine to modulate gene functions in place of this compound. Like retinoic acid, the related compounds do not have full vitamin A activity, but do have powerful effects on gene expression and epithelial cell differentiation. Pharmaceutics utilizing mega doses of naturally occurring retinoic acid derivatives are currently in use for cancer, HIV, and dermatological purposes. At high doses, side effects are similar to vitamin A toxicity. History The discovery of vitamin A may have stemmed from research dating back to 1816, when physiologist François Magendie observed that dogs deprived of nutrition developed corneal ulcers and had a high mortality rate. In 1912, Frederick Goland Hopkins demonstrated that unknown accessory factors found in milk, other than carbohydrates, proteins, and fats were necessary for growth in rats. Hopkins received a Nobel Prize for this discovery in 1929. By 1913, one of these substances was independently discovered by Elmer McCollum and Marguerite Davis at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and Lafayette Mendel and Thomas Burr Osborne at Yale University who studied the role of fats in the diet. McCollum and Davis ultimately received credit because they submitted their paper three weeks before Mendel and Osborne. Both papers appeared in the same issue of the Journal of Biological Chemistry in 1913. The accessory factors were termed fat soluble in 1918 and later vitamin A in 1920. In 1919, Harry Steenbock University of Wisconsin-Madison proposed a relationship between yellow plant pigments beta -carotene and vitamin A. In 1931, Swiss chemist Paul Carr described the chemical structure of vitamin A. Vitamin A was first synthesized in 1947 by two Dutch chemists, David Adrian van Dorp and Joseph Ferdinand Ahrens. During World War II, German bombers would attack at night to evade British defences. In order to keep the 1939 invention of a new onboard airborne intercept radar system secret from German bombers, the British Royal Ministry told newspapers that the nighttime defensive success of Royal Air Force pilots was due to a high dietary intake of carrots rich in vitamin A, propagating the myth that carrots enable people to see better in the dark. 